Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, and if you've ever wondered about the proper way to wire your trolling motor batteries, then stick around. I'm going to walk you through it. Alright folks, like I said, this video is going to be about trolling motor batteries. Specifically, we are going to be discussing multiple battery setups. This is something you would see in your 24 or 36 volt systems. But, I'm going to show you a way that you can use multiple batteries to reinforce your 12 volt system and get you some more runtime out on the water. And we're going to be going through how to set them up for series or parallel configuration. And I'll explain what each one of those is as we do it. Alright folks, like I said, these are three identical AutoCraft Marine Deep Cycle batteries. For the purposes of this video, these are all in the same configuration. The terminals on the left are your negative terminals. The terminals on your right are your positive terminals. A lot of the time what you're going to be looking at is, uh, and I see it on social media a lot, guys will ask they will get a 24 volt trolling motor or a 36 volt and they will ask folks how to wire these up. And it never fails somebody shows up and tells them to wire the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. Now, you are not going to hurt anything by doing that, but it's not the correct way. And I'm going to show you in a minute what that'll do. Let me get these hooked up. We're going to go positive to positive, negative to negative. This is parallel configuration. Now that those are hooked up, we can put our terminal to terminal, and you see we're 12.4 volts. Now when wired in parallel, all you've done is make a bigger 12 volt battery. So if you were running a 12 volt trolling motor on your boat, you want a little bit more run time, this is how you do it. You add a second battery, wire them in parallel, you'll connect your trolling motor to the positive and negative terminals also, and these two batteries will work together and give you more amp hours. But it's not what we want right now. We want 24 volts. 24 volt system is a two battery system. Now what we are going to do, we're going to start off by connecting this jumper wire. And I, I always use yellow. You could use whatever color you want, but I like to use something different than the other ones. That way it doesn't get confusing. We'll bring that positive on battery two to the negative on battery one. And now we are going to read from this negative terminal to this positive terminal. And we should have somewhere in the neighborhood of 24 volts. Actually, we're sitting at 24.96. All right, guys, like I said, there's a 24 volt setup. Just connected the negative of battery one to the positive of battery two. Now, let's say that's not enough. Let's say you've stepped up to a 36 volt system. We're gonna to have to add a third battery. Now we're gonna wire this up the same way. We're gonna go from the negative, this time of battery two, to the positive of battery three. that in there, get that one put on. Now, these batteries are all chained together in a, in a series, go negative to positive, negative to positive. Now we'll take our measurements from the positive battery one to the negative battery three. As you can see, we're at 37.5 volts. So we've got a good 36 volt system. All right, guys, there you go. You've got a 12 volt, a 24 volt, and a 36 volt system. Just remember, when you run the batteries in parallel, that's positive to positive, negative to negative. 
you increase the battery's capacity while staying at the same voltage. When you run in series, negative to positive, you add the battery voltages together, that's how you get up to the 24 and 36 volt systems. Guys, I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please take a moment to hit that like button down there and leave a comment down below. Guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my videos. Thanks for sticking around. Hope this has helped you out. I'm trying to keep this as a quick tip video. And guys, until next time, we'll catch you out on the water. Appreciate you watching Weekend Angler.